name is Rachel McDonough and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna. And we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight and you are watching True School Sports. Yeah. Right, ben and Taylor here at True School Sports. I'm with the man himself, Pat Blake Davis. What's up, champ? Chillin', man. Long time no see. Yeah, way too long, man. A lot, a lot of things seem to be in motion with your career. Yeah, man. Making a lot of moves out here, working hard, you know, just getting better, so. You know, yeah. running into some adversity. I had to cancel my last two shows. Um, now I'm looking to just, you know, I've been putting in work and sparring a lot, switch trainers, improving, learning a lot of new things. Um, in the best shape I've ever been. I'm strong, I'm big, I'm fast. Um, so we're looking to just take a fight somewhere, you know. It's not COVID infested that where we can, you know. So looking for to take on a fight, probably with not my own promotions, because obviously down here we got COVID, but trying to take a fight somewhere and not letting this all this work go to waste. You know, I gotta shine somewhere. Fucking in here fighting in the gym three times a week. You know, um wanna shine a little bit. You yeah, know? You, got, you got the scars to prove it as well. Yeah man, we've been yeah. uh, we've been working, a lot of good sparring. Yeah, well, um, you mentioned some of the changes with your career. Uh, you want to talk about that a little bit with the Sugar Hill? Um, yeah, well, obviously, you know, I switched trainers. Um, been working with Sugar for probably two weeks now. Um, you know, my old trainer, Jeff Porras, you know, he's, he's been my trainer since, since, uh, since day one. He pretty much taught me everything I know. I love Jeff, nothing against him, you know, but, you know, just opportunity came and, um, you know, he's just, um, you know, he's got a lot of other things going on. You know, he's got his company to run, and he just, you know, he stopped training me, honestly, you know. And um, I tried everything I could to get him to take it more serious, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, whole COVID thing, everything. But, you know, I'm trying to get better. I'm about my business, man. I don't give a fuck what's going on, what's doing. You know, I'm improving, you know. So, um, opportunity came, and, you know, I preached loyalty. and um, But it was just, you know, I wasn't getting what I was putting out, you know. So, I felt like I deserve better and that's why I went ahead and made the move. You know, the right things happen at the right time. Things fell in place and um, here we are making moves, you know. Yeah. I'll yeah. always work with Jeff. He'll be a part of my team always, you know. Uh, he's more of a brother to me than anything. Maybe that's why things kind of weren't going the way I wish they would. You know, mm -hmm. maybe we're just too close or more like brothers and I don't know. But, you know, at least we got that out of the way, you know. No bad blood and everything's good and, um, you know, I'm just here working. Yeah, well, I know sometimes my dad tells me this a lot myself. You know, sometimes uh, friendships and, you know, I guess business don't always yeah, mix I mean, the best. Yeah, I've learned that lesson a couple times now, you know. Um, I don't necessarily think that it has to be that way. You know, I think there's always, you can do business with anybody, family, friends, girlfriends, wives, brothers, sister, anything, you know, as long as you guys are on the same page, you know. But apparently we weren't on the same page. And, um, you know, I was just trying to get trained, trying to improve and, Opportunity came, so. Yeah, well, it definitely looks, looks, looks like you're improving. You're, you're becoming more of like a, a thinking fighter. Like, how, yeah. how do you feel like Sugar has been a positive impact he's, so far? He's teaching me a much faster pace, and he's teaching me a lot of details I didn't know before. Um, you know, he's fixing my stance. He's fixing, I mean, just super detailed, you know, super OCD with everything, which is a fucking great thing, you know. That means he's a perfectionist, and... You know, it's really focused on me, man. I, you know, I'm blessed to have the opportunity. Um, so, you know, just, just putting in that work, bro. And one thing I can say about Sugar, just from watching him, the few times I've seen him work, is that like he's intense and he's intense in his own way. Yeah, he and, don't put up no shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fun. We joke around. We have fun and shit. But you know, he don't play no. He don't play no bullshit. You yeah. Know? There's there's no weak shit. Anything weak, you're gonna get called out and you're gonna get fucking caught. You know. So. You know, it's definitely, he pushes you, he's pushing me, you know, he's definitely pushing me, but he's also looking out for me, you know, yeah, and yeah. I appreciate that. So, you know, I think we got uh, some some good things coming in the near future, you know. And I think, I think my fights are going to start being all knockouts now, too, you know, especially with this pace, you know, I'm learning how to take control, you know, I used to be kind of fighting backwards and shit, and now I'm learning, you know, step backwards, and it's just, you know, just things, you know, he's teaching me how to fight, you know, the, the right moves to make it, when to make the right moves, you know. The nuances of boxing. Exactly, you know, yeah, learning yeah. things that I was never really taught before, so, you know, yeah. it's, um, and it shows, you know, I'm improving, I'm sparring high level guys, and um, I'm in there, and we're working, and I'm fucking feeling great, and just gotta deal with this COVID shit, and, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah, it's a setback, but it's not really, man, because I'm still fucking getting better, so it don't matter, you know, in the long run, it's probably better for me, you know, it don't even fucking matter, you know, so, 
I'm in here putting in that work and I'm gonna shine regardless. You know, it's just a matter of when. So Yeah, you out here flowing like a butterfly. Yeah, man, man. No, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm fucking man, my feet is all blistered up, both feet, you know. Um I um I'm just I'm working very hard, man. You know, I'm very dedicated and um, you know, the whole change has sparked um that day one fuel that I had, you know? It just sparked another, whole another energy, you know? It's like a whole new fucking gas tank. You feel like you're love of boxing again, like? Yeah, I do, and I'm learning different things, and I'm opening my eyes to a whole new world of it, you know? And it's, um, it's, um, it's just great knowledge, and it's um, definitely very happy with uh, my situation. Yeah, with Shigeru. Yeah, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad it's happening for you, because like, you're just an intense dude in general. You sound, but not, now, like I see, even the way you speak, like even, more aggressive than usual, like. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm in dog shape right now, you know, so I'm just ready to go. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, man, you know. What kind of fighter do you think you're gonna become? What kind of fighter? Yeah, what kind of fighter, like, 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 like when, you, when, you, when you put all, put it all together, uh, what, what kind of fighter is that? I mean, if I, can, if I can keep up the pace, I mean, I'll be a fucking knockout artist, you know, but as long as I can keep that pace, up, get smart, you know, once I start landing my big shots, you know, and learning how to finish people, then it's, then, you know, then it's all KOs from there. But, you know, I've been very smart with my boxing so far in my pro career. Um, you know, I think I've dropped every opponent in the first round except one guy. Yeah, four of the five. Yeah, and, um, you know, I've just uh, probably could have finished all of them off. You know, I finished two of them off, but... Mm -hmm. um, I just, um, you know, I, I was fighting smart, Dan, and I, I wasn't really taking control, you know, but now I'm learning how to take control and shit, so, you know, if a situation comes like that, you know, I'll be able to step on the gas and take them out, so that's where that crunk come in. Absolutely. You know? Was a, a man, a man you know, one time said, crunk, motherfucker, crunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's what, uh, that's what Sugar Preacher, man, right? you know? Um, that's it. That's what, that's what it is, that's man. That's what it is, though. So. Okay. Hey, is there anything else about yourself you want to... Get out there to people about just what you um, what you got going on here at Warriors. Not really, you know. I mean, I apologize to everyone that was looking forward to our second show that we had canceled again. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm low key but, depressed about that. I was, I was, but obviously, you know, there's nothing. It's out of my hands. You yeah, know, yeah. It's out of my control. Um, you know, we could switch venues to maybe outside of Miami Day, but Broward might be shutting down too. <laughs> you know, and and I say I don't want to put my name on nothing that don't deliver the high class boxing entertainment that we preach. You know. Um, uh, so. You know, other venues and stuff just don't quite cut it. I got that venue on lock. Uh, you know, that's my place. I got exclusivity. Um, and, you know, I'll put on a show when when I can put on a show in, in my fucking venue with my fucking ways and my, my setup, you know, and my layout that I designed. And, you know, high-class boxing entertainment and fucking very intimate, a close personal experience and just a great atmosphere, good vibes, and just fucking... Now we got that crunk at Sugar Hill, too. <laughs> The plot thickens. The plot thickens. It's thickening. Yeah, for sure. There you go. It's getting thick. It's getting real thick. You know, like 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 Mrs. Butters with like the syrup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything thick. Well, you know, I want I wanted to get your take on just some things going on in boxing. Um, I know, like, well, you're you're a South Florida guy. Like, I'm a South Florida guy. You know, T. Female is supposed to fight Lomachenko supposedly soon. Yeah, that's uh that's definitely a fight to look forward to. You know, I um grew up around um Gordo. You know. Yeah. So, um, and just to see him at that high of a level is pretty, uh, pretty amazing, man. You know, I thought he was gonna struggle with uh, Kome. Yeah, I remember we talked about that. Yeah, and um, you know, he proved me wrong, and you know, it's inspiring. You know, it's truly inspiring, and now I believe in him. You know, I'll, I believe in him to the fullest. So, you know, I don't know what'll happen with the Lomachenko fight. He's not your favorite, but I want to count him out. You know, he's um. You know, this whole situation, and you know, obviously everyone knows what happened, but his, you know, everything that went happened. Family but, you and whatnot, yeah. Um, you know, I think that, that fuels fighters, man, you know, and to have someone there for you. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't doubt his ability, man, you know, so. Well, he's got that quality I was telling you that I think you have, actually, which is uh, the ability to fight under the lights. You know, you can have shit going on yeah, outside yeah, the yeah, ring yeah. when no, the lights I come mean, on. Like, obviously I can, you know. Obviously I put on a fucking show and uh, did a, a lot for you know even the day of the weigh-ins I'm fucking moving chairs and setting it up and fucking I ended up weighing in underweight on that fight you know because I was fucking so busy doing shit yeah um, but hopefully you know I could put that shit aside and um, you know start 
um, just focus in on my craft, and that's what I want to do, man. So that's what I'm here doing, and that's why, you know, with this whole COVID thing, I'll probably take a fight somewhere else inside my own promotions. Um, probably out of town, you know, something that's, you know, pay-per-view where my people can watch, and um, just, just, just going forward, that's all. Can't go backwards. No, we ain't going backwards, man. Yeah, because you know, we stagnant. We learning, we learning from everything we've gone through, so there ain't no going back, man, you know? Well, honey, bro. So, like, uh, any message to the boxing world about what you got going on? Nah, man, just uh, keep your eye out, that's all, you know? I'm gonna start making some noise here. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. All right, well, Bad Blake Davis, thank you for talking to True School Sports. Of course, Brandon. Thank you, bro. 100, bro. I'll be... Follow me on Instagram, Bad Davis 954. Bad Davis 954. He got some of the, the, the best of, uh, like, videography edits. Yeah, my boy, Felipe. He's doing his know. thing, man. Duke Films. Oh, Duque. Duque. Felipe Duque. So, well, there you have it. Bad Blake Davis. Yes, sir. Stay tuned for him.